Welcome back. Um, we are still continuing with this uh, question paper uh, that was written on 16 November 2021 for our exam preparation. Uh, in my first video, uh, I explained what is it that you need to do before you can start answering your question paper. So you can just go back and refer to that video if you haven't watched it so that you can understand uh, what we are going to what we are going to be doing now so we are going to continue reading on page nine you will see that on page nine we've already done the additional parameter setup so we are going to now skip that and i'm going to continue with item number six which says transaction for march 2021 period one as we have no, uh, seen that we will be processing in period one they say you are required 6.1 you are required to do the bank reconciliation for march 2021 do not update the cash payment and the cash receipt batches until you after you have completed your bank reconciliation we are not going to talk about that now we are going to come to this later when we are doing the cash book and the bank reconciliation so 6.2 it says when processing uh your your computer source document select the option to display tax uh, percentages in the in the in the lines entries uh in this document so uh, let's see how we have set up our let's say I've set up our customer control uh this will, will already been set up for you so they are talking about this they are saying when processing source document select the option to display tax percentage tax percentages so it's already been set up for you you don't have to worry about that with your customers as well as with your suppliers and then they say if there is no ledge account for a specific transaction such an account uh, 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 must be created apply the account structure as set out so if there's a new account that you need to create you must go back to the general ledger that you are given which is on page eight you see the general ledger that you are given and then let's say, for example, you want to create a, a new expense. You have to check what is the last number of the expense that is there. In this case, the last expense that I can see there is account 4,600. So if I have to create a new account, I need to find the, 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 the way in which the account, they are being numbered. So I think from 4,600, I can maybe try account 4,700 to create another new expense. So you need to follow that account structure. Uh, that you are giving there on page eight then 6.4 it says once you have completed the input of computer source document and batch uh, and journal batches you have to print and update you can underline that you have to print and you have to update remember if something needs to be printed first you must start by printing printing it but if you are going to start by updating it it means you are going to you are not going to be able to print that item again so follow the instruction you must print and update them when a uh, printing journal select print with contrast you must also underline that every time you print a journal you must print with contrast all non-stock items or services must be entered on the journals and not on the source document remember earlier, earlier on when we were reading our scenario i said to you you must know exactly what the business is selling because uh, when you are giving those invoices, you must check which invoice are they buying stock and which invoice are they not buying stock because those two items are not processed in the same place. As you can see here, they are telling you that all non-stock items or, uh, or services must be entered in the journal, not in the source document. Then 6.5, they say refer to the addendum concerning the admissible deductions with regard to the input text. We have already spoken about this. And then 6.6, .6, it says, see page 19 for the list of printouts to be printed uh, or to be handed in for marking. Hand in the printout in the same order as on the page 19. Five marks will be deducted if printouts are not handed in in the correct order as indicated in the question paper. So point number 6.6 .6 is very important. You need to go to page 19 and check what is it that needs to be printed or what needs to be handed in so when you submit your, your 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 answer script you must make sure that you follow exactly how uh, 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 they've made it in fact it's on page 20 there how you need to be submitting so if i open your answer script 
the first thing that I must see according to page 20, I must see um, section A, which is a printout of that theory question that you are supposed to write, which is out of 20 marks. And then the second thing that I must see is section B. The first thing there will be the supplier journal, and then you put all the other items as, as, as indicated on the list. That is very, very important, guys. You need to sort out your work. So now we are going to start uh, 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 writing the question paper. So we will start writing the question paper on item number seven. What does it say? It says you must do the take on balances. Use the information in question 4.2 to process the opening balances of the suppliers according to the age analysis on 28 February 2021. So you must underline that the date, the 28 February 2021, so that you can check which year does it belong. As you know that in we are process the, the period uh, the current period that we are processing on is 1 March 2021, which is period one. So it means when they say process on 28 February 2021. It means now we are going back to the previous year. But which month in, pre in previous year? We are going back to period 12. So that is very, very important to understand. So these balances were the balances of the last year, which must now be incorporated in the system that we have created uh, and then process the, those balances so that they can be part of this company. So make sure or make use of the increment referencing. So they are telling you how you need to do your settings now. Start with SJ1201 and description opening balance. And then they say do not use print and update the pages. They take on balances. Remember, this was mentioned uh, when you go back uh, to page six, the supplier schedule. It was mentioned that uh, you, are supposed, you are going to process the opening balances uh, of the supplier according to the age analysis on 28 February 2021, which is uh, the, the previous period. So this information that I'm, re I'm reading here on page 9, number 7, correspond with the information that was given on page 6 under item 4.2. So how are we going to do that? How are we going to do the take-on balances? They say it must be done uh, through the uh, uh, supplier channel. So we are going to go to process channels. And then under process journals, we must select the correct journal. So we are going to go to suppliers and then we must select the supplier journals. So we are doing the opening balances of the suppliers, the, the balances that we're owing the suppliers in the previous period, which now must be incorporated in this uh, accounting system that we have created in the current period. So the first thing that you need to do when you enter your journal, always, you must go to your settings and then under your settings, because you are doing the opening balances, you must activate the contra account. That contra account uh, is called, uh, or can I search with description, is called opening uh, balance. It's called an opening balance account 990. Uh, that is the contra account or the other account that will be affected when we are putting in these balances. So you must activate that account here for the opening balances, the Condra account. And then under processing, remember these balances are for the last year. So it means you must untick this year's transaction. So when you do that, you will see that your general journal goes to last year. But when that is ticked, it means your general journal is in the current period. So what do we need to do? We need to untick this year so that our balance sheet i mean our general journal can go to last year then what else they said we must do under our setting they said we must make use of the increment referencing so this is the section that they are talking about so we must say yes so our referencing they are talking about this area here or this column here so it will start with sj1201 but when we continue it will continue numbering if we say increment yes and then they say the description which we are going to put here when we go back it will say opening balance and then they also say we must not use text so we must untick text processing you must untick text processing so that our gj will show a debit and a credit so and then we must at the end you underline that one we will print this gj and we will update this gj so those are the two actions that we are going to complete when we 
we are done with this processing. Again, let's look at our settings. Make sure that you, you activate your Condra account for opening balances. And then you follow the instruction. You check whether you are doing the transition for the current year or you are doing transition for the previous year. If the, the transitions are for the previous year, you need to untick this year transition. You have to untick tax and then you have to also increment your referencing. Then you can close, right? So that was the first step that you do when you do your uh, 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 take on balances. The second thing is to make sure that you are in the correct period. They say we must process in period 12, which is a uh, period 12 last year. But again, if you look at your, uh, if you go back to page six, there's something that we need to uh, 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 indicate as well there. You will see that in page 4.2, you have a, a schedule of your suppliers. And then uh, there, there's, there's a column for the total that says how much in total they are owing. There's a, a, a column for the current. That column represents period 12. So you can write on top there of that a column a 12. That is period 12. Meaning when we go to 30 days, that uh, a column represent period 11. So we are going back uh, in months as we are, they said that we must do this according to the age analysis. So 30 days will represent period 11 and 60 days will represent period 10. So there are three months that are involved there. So it's period 12, which is current, period 11, which is 30 days, and period, uh, and, and period 3, which is 60 days. But we are going to start with period 12. So I'm going to tap on my keyboard. You'll see that when I tap, it will give me the correct date there. And then uh, don't worry about this. You can just say no. Then you must check your first uh, supplier that has balances. Uh, I can see that we have a uh, mama. So you must select mama. Remember, you are given the reference that you, you are supposed to use, which is uh, SJ. 1201. What does that mean? It means this is a supplier journal number 12, transaction number 1. So if you are not given this reference, you can also create your own. Then you press 12, uh, uh, tap again, then you write opening opening balance. That's what you are you're also given there. So if in the exam you are not giving that, you can just say balance there or opening balance. Now, we need to indicate in, on which side does your suppliers increase. We know that suppliers are liabilities and they increase on the credit side. So it means we're, not, we're going to put this amount on the credit side. So how much is that? That is owing in Pro 12. It's a, a 250. So you press tap again. You will see that the Contra account is already activated because you activated this on your settings. So you can tap to the next line. And then do we have another supplier that is owing us on period 12? Yes, we have Pretty Woman. So we are going to tap, tap, tap and activate Pretty Woman. Now you'll see that your reference is incrementing nicely. And then uh, opening balance is also a, 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 a repeating. Then on the credit side, we are going to put that 1,000 there. And then we tap, tap to the next line. And then now we are done with period 12, right? So it means we are now moving to 30 days, which is period 11. So you can type 11 there if you want and press tab. It will just give you the correct period, uh, which is January. And then you tap, you select the supplier that was owing this company for the last two months, which is Pretty Woman. You select Pretty Woman. And then you press enter. Don't worry about the reference. It will continue. The opening balance will also continue. And then you also put 750 there on the credit side, which is how much this uh, supplier was. I mean, we are owing the supplier. Right. So now you can see that in 30 days, um, only pretty woman was owing the, I mean, I mean we we're owing only pretty woman uh, for the last 30 days. So now we are going to go to 60 days and then, 60 days now, it means the period must change. It's no longer 11. It must change to 10. Then uh, the, the date will, will automatically get in there. And then whom were we owing uh, 
for the last 60 days and then you'll see that it's mama we can put mama there then tap 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 how much we owing mama is 250 and then tap 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 so when you have done that it means you are done uh, with uh, putting in your take on balances okay so what did we do we entered this journal which is a supplier journal we went to the settings where we activated the the contra account is opening balance we unticked this year so that the, the, the GJ can go to last year. We have antique text, text, and then we also use the increment reference. And then once we, we are done with that, we made sure that here we, we, we are in the correct period. So now, once you are done with this, you have to go back to the instruction. The instruction said at the end, you must print. Okay, so we are going to print now our journal. How do we print our journal? Always, they said, when you print your journal, you must print with contrast. So I'm going to print my journal, journal with contrast. Remember, I don't have a printer. I'm going to print on the PDF. Okay, so I'm going to print on the PDF uh, for now. And then I'm, I must make sure that, uh, so that I can get this, I put uh, this information where I can find it. I'm going to put it under CFS and for videos, and then I'm going to call this um, a supplier, supplier channel. Supplier channel one. Okay, I'm going to call it supplier channel one. I'm going to save it. But in your exam, you'll automatically print to the printer. So because I didn't have a printer, that's why I'm printing on the PDF. So I'm going to go there and check what is my supplier journal is going to look like when I submit. Um, the supplier journal is going to look like this. You can see it's got your ID number. It shows that it's for last year and the periods are correct. Your reference is correct. Your description is correct. And then it indicates that it's your supplier. So it's increased on the credit side. And then also your contract account is correct. Uh, if this were you were, take, were doing the take on balances for the customers, instead of putting this amount on the credit side, you are going to put it on the debit side because customers are assets in the business and they increase on the debit side. So that's the only difference. The, all the other information will be the same. Uh, the only thing that you'll have to do, instead of putting the balances on the credit side for the customers, you will have to put them on the debit side. So you'll see, this is what you are going to uh, you are going to submit, right? So it means we have printed. You'll see that when you have printed, um, your supplier journal is still active. Okay. Now we need to do the second item. Uh, I'm still on page nine there. You need to update the page. Remember updating, meaning you are now posting so that uh, this information can influence your balances uh, on the system. Just to show you something, I'm going to close here and then go to my suppliers. At the moment, you will see that my suppliers, they are zeros. There are, are no amount that are affecting them but because i have not yet updated all right so when i go back um to 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 sorry to process journal uh, and then suppliers and supplier journals now i'm going to update them so that we can see what will what will happen then after i've updated so i will update uh this page See, update this page and then I will update. What happened when I update? Uh, you'll see that this uh, journal will disappear. It will just uh, 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 be cleared. So if make sure that when they want this to be submitted in your exam, uh, you must print first before you can update. So now let's go back to our balances and see if they will change. Yes, you will see now that after updating, uh, the balances are now there. Okay, so this is the first part of your, 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 your question paper where you are now going to start to score the marks. So uh, if this video is helpful to you, please subscribe on my channel and like my videos so that every time I post something new, 
uh, you'll be able to see uh, the new videos. Uh, thank you.